So, may I ask how you even ripped out your entire exhaust system? <laughs> you sprinted driving? Okay, but seriously, how did you manage to do that? Off-roading, hmm? That must have been pretty intense then. You've got to take me with you next time, because that sounds like fun. Hmm? Oh, yeah, things are fine down here. Usually, you would install a new exhaust with the car on the lift and some help, but I've gotten pretty good at doing it on my own, with all four wheels on the ground. Besides, your car doesn't have the exhaust th threaded in between a bunch of other parts. Oh, no help needed here, sweetie. I don't mind doing it this way. I wouldn't want my customer to raise a finger. Hmm? I- I called you sweetie? Uh, uh, um, you- you don't mind, right? Oh, good. It was no trouble, really. I mean, I ordered the parts two days ago and they're already here. They came from Sweden. Didn't cost much, either, surprisingly. You're not driving a Lamborghini, after all. Where every part is priced like a new BMW. I usually charge 300 for a job like this. The craziest mechanic story I have? Mm, well... That would have to be when a rich lady came in with an older Bentley. She showed up super early in the morning with an extremely bossy attitude and demanded I fixed her Bentley. She didn't even really know what was wrong with it. The only thing she told me was, and I quote, the steering vibrates before giving me a stack of money to fix it. When I checked the steering assembly, I was honestly baffled. The alignment was completely out of whack. The car must have literally been pulling from left to right. I know, right? That woman didn't look like it, but she must have been extremely strong to keep the car under control with that. When I asked her, she told me that it has been a problem for a week. But she, she said that she was too busy to get it fixed earlier. Kinda amazing considering she was rich and could have had anyone take it to a mechanic for her. So I fixed it all while she just sat on the side and constantly talked on her phone going on about some sort of party. And that's it. Your car's new exhaust system is installed. Woo! <laughs> hmm? Oh, you could pay me right now. Or you could give me something else instead. Oh, don't play coy. I've seen you take peeks at me. And I'd be lying. If I said I didn't return the favor on multiple occasions. You're great company, funny and pleasing to the eyes. How about instead of some money, I get to take you out on a date instead? <laughs> so, what do you say, sweetie? <laughs> Bold move there. But now, you've only made me want you even more. <laughs> You're really good at this. Not to mention, absolutely delicious. On your first kiss? Yeah, that's kinda hard to believe. You are quite the catch. Hmm? You like it? Good. There's more in store for you.
But first comes the date. Here's my number. I'll text you when I'll pick you up. I always take Thursdays and the weekend off. Oh, yeah, I'm picking you up. I cannot just fix cars, but also drive them, you know? <laughs> I know you didn't mean it like that. Before you leave, let me just... There. That much should keep you excited for the next few days. I'll text you later today, okay? Okay. See you later, sweetie.